What's going on? This is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome back to a tactic testing and instruction. So this tactic right here is a little bit strange. You don't play strikers. It's called the Bordalis tactic. I'm guessing it's named after the Spanish coach, Jose Bordalis Jimenez. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try it out in uh, Holland with Ajax and Fair Nord. Hopefully it does all right, but uh, I'm a little bit skeptical. <laughs> Stay tuned for the instructions. So welcome back and as you can see this is the board Dallas tactic I'm currently Ajax I've taken over both teams like I've said and uh, yeah so let's get on with the player instructions so attacking midfielder left shadow striker right defensive winger left defensive winger right deep line playmaker central midfielder inverted wing back left inverted wing back right central defender left Central defender right and the sweeper keeper. Let's go to the set piece instructions and corners. So there's none for the defending, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So the attacking right and attacking left. Obviously, you might need to um, just pause the video if you can't actually download this tactic. So you can just copy everything that you can see here. Uh, let's go over to the free kicks um that's all um standard as well as you can see routine one so let's go to the attack and attacking is also standard so there's nothing to change there throw instructions defend is again um all standard and attacking is actually a uh, instruction so attacking right and attacking left that is it for the individual instructions and player instructions. So it is a tactical style. It's called it the middle block. The mentality is attacking. In possession, attacking width is fairly wide. So you're going to hopefully play a little bit wider football. Uh, passing space, extremely direct football. So you may be sacrificing a lot of possession uh, to try and get the ball into the final third as quickly as possible. Um, tempo's higher. Uh, time wasting sometimes um, early hit early crosses into the box so yeah there's going to be no work in the ball into the box no um, anything like that it's all about trying to get the ball into the box as quick as possible whatever means necessary um, and creative freedom is the more expressive counter press and counter uh, uh, two options that are used quite a lot in a lot of tactics uh, distribute quickly and throw it long are the only goalkeeper instructions an out of possession, much higher line of engagement, high defensive line, defensive width is narrow, and I've said it before, you will be prioritising um, defending the central areas of your uh, of the pitch rather than the wings, and uh, pressing intensity is more urgent, and that is it. There's no stay on feet, there's no get stuck in or anything like that. Uh, this is the tactic. This is roughly the supposed best 11 uh, for this tactic. It's going to be strange that you haven't got a striker, but you have got Tadic. As your shadow strike, he is your main threat. So I'm hoping that he's going to uh, do do all right as the shadow striker. Um, and then we'll go to Fair Nord. And this is their rough supposed best 11 as well. So yeah, I'm going to see you in January for a quick recap. Right then, we're in January. We are a few games past halfway point. And uh, as expected, it doesn't matter what kind of tactic you've got, Ajax is the most dominant team in this whole entire league. Um, so it's good that they're still first. It's even better that you haven't even lost a game. Uh, so that's actually shown some good signs for a slightly uh, obscure tactic that not a lot of people would use because in my personal opinion, it's great having that wonderful striker, that fast, pacey, big target man, whichever you go for. Um, it's all about scoring goals and even though they are first and Tadic was playing as that shadow striker um he's only scored nine goals and yeah he's top of the table but it's only nine goals in 17 games and sometimes with a plug and play tactic when you are downloading and you're expecting a bit more than that if you try this tactic out in the premier league would it still work you know i mean you've got some bigger competition harder teams harder league or all, all, all in all and uh, you feel like you're kind of wasting your strikers. Um, could you retrain them, maybe, to drop down into a shadow striker and attack a midfielder role when you've got the players in Barcelona, when you've got maybe uh, Messi. Yeah, Messi, easy. 
easy shadow striker. He, he, I think he'll do very well. Um, but when you've got players like Lewandowski, waste of time, waste of time playing there. Um, Haaland, waste of time playing. There. You know what I mean? It's just, could it actually work in the other leagues? I picked this league because it might showcase what it can do, but not what it can do in harder leagues, if you know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, everyone's still playing absolutely fantastic. At the end of the day, it's it's an obscure tactic and they're doing all right. Fair Nord, not so much. They are predicted fourth and they are currently seventh. Not doing great, but again, they've only lost four games. So it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, average rating. You've got all the Ajax players in the top three. Uh, Neres, Tadic and Promise. Um, assists, you've got Ajax again, Neres. Uh, second with six. And player of the matches, though, is a Fair Nord player. Uh, Haps with four. And uh, clean sheets, second place, Unana, um, with nine clean sheets for Ajax. So, uh, yeah, fair nord. Anyway, let's have a look at their competition, see what they're still in. So, they're still in the Euro Cup, and they finished, obviously, in their group and qualified, and they are still in the Dutch Cup as well. And then Ajax competitions, let's have a look. Friendly Cup, they are the winners, the P. <laughs> um, European Champions Cup, they are in the first knockout round leg against FC Bayern Munich. That's going to be a very tough game, especially with you not having strikers. So let's see how that actually goes. Um, Dutch Cup, third round. And the uh, Dutch Super Cup, we uh, won it against PSV, 2-0. Uh, so it's it's doing a job. Even though you haven't got strikers, it's doing a job. But maybe by not having strikers, you you can dominate possession a little bit more in the central areas of your pitch. Um, you might do a lot better than... Um, defensively and not conceding we can see by Unana that is second and not con conceding a lot of goals so it might kind of be defense is the best kind of offense situation kind of thing going on um, but yeah let's have a look at the end of the season see how everything finishes up right end of the season guys and once again if you are liking the content and everything about our channel we would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and like our videos um it adds a bit of motivation and uh yeah gives you a little pit me up doesn't it you know that the people that are watching uh, are subscribing they're liking your content they're coming back for more um and they're genuinely leaving great comments uh, there's been some comments on some recent videos and they've been they've been absolutely fantastic um it's so nice that we've got people uh, that are coming to watch our videos that are leaving those kind of messages so awesome and um, thank you for that and uh, yeah so anyway this is the end of the season and Ajax have finished at the top of the table they only lost one game 93 points that's for a tactic that has no strikers that's unbelievable um at the same time it's Ajax and you're in Holland you are the best team by far um but fair Nord not too bad they are predicted fourth so they did underachieve um, they still got European qualification through the playoffs. Um, but like I said before, with the plug and play, you expect them to be better. You expect to do better than your prediction. Um, so Fair Nord didn't obviously do that. Uh, but again, mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this tactic will work in the Premier League. If it does, you are gonna try if you are gonna try this tactic, if you do download it, obviously all the download links uh, will be in the description below. Um, if you do download it and you are in another league, then let me know how it actually goes. If you're in Spain, um, does it go? D does it work well? Have you tried it with Barcelona? Maybe. Uh, if you're in the Premier League, a much tougher league where anyone can beat anyone, unless you're Liverpool. Um, how did it do there? I mean, let, just let me know, guys, so I can. Uh, I say it's all about tactic testing and, and sharing, sharing experiences, letting other people read the comments and say, well, he tried it in Ajax. Will it work in England? Oh, wait, there's a comment here. He's tried it in England. He says it works. Boom. There we go. Help me out. Help you out. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, player stats. Um, we didn't get the top goal scorer. Um, I was expecting um, that we weren't going to get it anyway. At the end of the day, you haven't got a striker. <laughs> so, uh, bought the two top uh, goal scorers for... Ajax, uh, second and third place as well, were the attacking midfielders, the shadow striker and the attacking midfielder in Ziyech and Tadic. Uh, so that was expected because they're the only people that can, in a way, score. They are your chosen strikers that aren't strikers. Um, average rating, Neres um, on the right-hand side, played the right wing for Ajax. Um, and Tadic, again, on third place on 7.39, he is your shadow striker. Assist, Neres, uh, 12, came top of the table. Like I said, the right winger does his job pumping the ball into the box. That's what the instructions are there for. And he's clearly doing it. And player of the matches is a fair Nord and Ajax player. Uh, Neres is joint first on eight. 
and Haps seven uh, seven uh, player of the matches on third place. Clean sheets are both Fair Nord and the Ajax goalkeeper, um, Bijlo, Justin Bijlo for Fair Nord and Andre Unana uh, for Ajax. So twenty two and nineteen. That's pretty good, right? So so far, it's telling me now that this is a decent defensive tactic for the fact that first and second place is your goalkeepers. Um, and then yellow cards is Haps for Fair Nord. So let's have a look at Ajax. Let's have a look at his competitions. So European Champions Cup. We got all the way to the quarterfinal and lost out to Manchester City. The score was 6-2 overall. Um, that's Man City at the end of the day. But it did mean that we got past Bayern Munich. So what was the actual score? We uh, drew 1-0 over both games. Obviously, we won on penalties. So, yeah, okay. That's how we got through. Wasn't convincing, wasn't at and at five nilers, but still got through, still beat Bayern Munich. So it does hold a little bit of merit using this tactic. Um, Dutch Super Cup, we already know we won. And we ended up winning the Dutch Cup uh, against AZ in the final and also won on penalties there, with Tadic being the top goal scorer. So, yeah, did all right. Schedule, head-to-heads against Fair Nord. So, let's have a look. Fair Nord here. It was a 0-0 draw the first time. And the second time, it was a 2-0 win. So, uh, yeah, Ajax take this round. Um, any other big scores? Obviously, we know we only won, uh, lost one game in the league. So, I'm not expecting to see mass the, a massive loss. It was actually the last game of the season. Lost 3-1. Yeah, but yeah, 4-0, 4-1, 4-0. Uh, so I say that we won't score goals, but you are. But you're also I actually got to remember, you are the strongest team in the league. Um, but you're still banging them in. 4-0, 3-0, 2-0, 6-0. Um, some decent scores here. 5-0 against Genk in the uh, Champions Cup Group B. So, st still doing the job, weirdly. And I think... You're doing very well because you're defensive. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the squad. Total stats then. Stats of overall competitions, including friendlies and cup competitions. So your best player was Neres. 17 goals and 17 assists and created 27 chances. 11 player of the matches. Is that absolutely fantastic? Your shadow striker, Tadic. 31 goals in all competitions. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, especially considering that he's not actually a striker. Uh, 10 assists and created 26. You've got Promes, 19 and 13. Ziyech, 23 and 16. So the two attacking midfielders work very well together. I'm guessing they supplied a lot of goals uh, between each other as well, and that's why they've got high assists. Um, so yeah, everyone played pretty well. Um, so the midfielder right, midfielder left, and the two attacking, uh, attacking midfielders absolutely smashed it, as well as Donny van der Beek with 14 goals. I'm pretty sure Donny van der Beek was the attacking central midfielder. So, yeah, these top four and the um, central midfielder, the attacking central midfielder, it's a bit kind of like total football. They're all participating, they're all supplying, and they're all scoring, which is great news for the people that want that kind of football. So, yeah, it's awesome. Tactic analysis. So let's have a look at how many goals he actually scored. So 119. That is absolute, That's actually incredible for the tactic that you are. No strikers and you're still scoring 119. Bear in mind you are Ajax. You are in a great, great, you are a great team in a bad league. Well, compared to the standards of other leagues anyway. But yeah, he's 119 and you only conceded. This is in every competition. Every competition you're involved in, you only conceded 27 goals. That is a decent defensive stat. In just the domestic league, you conceded 12. 12 goals over the course of a whole season. 12. That's that's good. That's good. I'm 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 sh there. That's very good. That's a very defensive, uh, good stat to show. To only concede 12 goals over a course of a whole season would be absolutely buzzing. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's the goal locations and assist locations. Let's go to Fair Nord, see how they actually did. So, competitions. They were the runners up in the Euro Cup. Actually, pretty shocked about that. 
awesome. They uh, went out, unfortunately, against Arsenal in the final. That's that's surprising. I'm surprised at that. I am. It's a shame. It's a shame you got a team like Arsenal in the final, but how do we do? Semi final beat Torino. Quarter final ends up beating Bayern Leverkusen. Second knockout round was against Salzburg. First knockout round was against Victoria Plaison. Uh, Play Plaison. Yeah. You know, you've watched my videos. I'm not good at names. Um, so some that's pretty convincing in itself that you got a team like Feyenoord going all the way to the uh, European Cup final. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty good. Schedule. Let's go to the schedule. Let's go and have a look at the big teams. Big teams are AZ. Lost against AZ. Arsenal, we know we lost against. Torino, we know we got through. So FC 20. They obviously were a great team. Not anymore. Uh, the likes PSV. That's a, that's a decent result to all against PSV. Uh, let's have a look. Ajax, we know the scores for them already. Uh, AZ, so they're not really not a great teams. So I beat Olympiacos. That's a, Olympiacos is an half-decent team. In the Euro uh, Cup Group G, how do we actually finish? So we topped Group G. Um, Getafe, Olympiacos, and Alexandria were all below us. And we didn't even, uh, we only lost one. That's, uh, that's, not, that's, that's good going. Yeah. Decent, decent results. Not as big on the score lines as Ajax, but we all know Ajax are a dominant team in the uh, Dutch league. So, still though, getting a lot of draws, and those draws rack up points. Would this work for a massively underdog team in the first season? Let's say um, Premier League or or obviously league, um, Series A or anything like that. And would it be defensive enough just to rack up enough draws and enough points that way to survive the first season if you are struggling? Uh, if you haven't got a big wage budget or, or transfer budget or anything like that. Try that, guys. Let me know in the comments. So, let's have a look at their squad. Best player. So there's not, not as many greens here. Uh, best player was Haps with 13 goals and uh, 8 assists. He was your midfielder left. Uh, and then one of your attacking central midfielder left as well. So, it's not your shadow striker. Um, it's your just a normal attacking midfielder actually scored 17 goals and only two players scored more than 10 and that was them two so it's nowhere near the kind of stats as Ajax uh, I'm guessing you're going to get nowhere near the 119 that they scored as well you can already see that um, but you're still creating a lot of chances so you've got 19 chances here you've got um, Cars Dorp here creating 28 and um, Koku 26 so it's possible that you just need to basically upgrade your squad a little bit um, a little bit more quality start matching Ajax really so yeah too bad bit of a shame that you have obviously performed under expectations for fair nord um but let's have a look at the tactic analysis for these ones then so goals so 63 goals in all competitions that is bad that is bad. That's telling me that you can't just take any team um, that you want that aren't good to begin with and do absolutely fantastic. The only saving grace for this, for Fair Nord, is you still only conceded 32 goals in all competitions. Um, that is not a lot at all. That's very good. It's nowhere near. Obviously, um, Ajax did a lot better. But how did they actually do in the domestic league? So they only conceded 20, but they only scored 40. Not good, uh, but the conceded part is amazing. 20 goals in all competitions for a team that isn't predicted to come first, that isn't a world-dominating team in that league like Ajax is. So 20 goals is still amazing. And the fact that you're, um, you came fifth, and I think you just need to revamp your squad. I think it is not a tactic for a small team. A small team, you might just survive through defend defence alone, and by not obviously conceding and gaining the one point draws uh, but you're never going to win unless you've got a great team and in my personal opinion I don't think you're ever going to win without having an out and out striker so yeah it's fun 
it's quirky, but I would never play football manager without a striker. So, yeah, we're coming to the end of FM20. If you want to have a little bit of fun, if you want to have a little play around, trying out little obscure tactics that will add a bit of enjoyment to the game, then yeah, go for it. Awesome, have a laugh. Let me know how it actually goes for you. Um, but personal, personally wise, you got to have a striker. You've just got to. Uh, even if it's just one and you go for a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one, um, and you might have even, Ajax might have even end up with a lot better stats that way as well. Uh, so yeah, that is that. That's the goal locations and assist locations for them. This is Tucker Jobs Gaming, one of them. And hopefully you subscribe, you like the video, you like the video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you when I see you. See you later, bye.